Now let's talk about thiazide diuretics. Now with thiazide diuretics, there's an inhibition of the sodium reabsorption in the portion of the distal tubule, okay? Now with the thiazide diuretics, it uses what they call a passive diffusion. Now you don't have to know any of these, but basically what it results is it results in an increase in excretion, right, of sodium, water, and chloride from the body. But not only that, it also secretes potassium. So basically, when we use when, the, when our patient are using thiazide diuretics, they would um, they would they are losing not only water but sodium, potassium, and chloride. And the loss of potassium can can be a big problem for our patients. Now the two most very important, most commonly used thiazide diuretics that you will or might encounter in the NCLEX exam would include hydrochlorothiazide, right, which is hydrodiureal, and chlorothiazide, which is diureal. Now, hydrochlorothiazide is usually used in treatments of uh, hypertension and edema. Um, also, it's used with, uh, with congestive heart failure, okay? Now, side effects commonly associated with uh, hydrochlorothiazide would include hypokalemia, since we're losing potassium, hyperglycemia, and hyperuricemia, okay? So we should be, we have to be careful um, when we give this drug uh, to patients suffering from diabetes, right, or gout, or especially in patients who are taking digitalis, okay? Because it could further, um, it can cause... To see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com or just click the link below.